Okay, this is Rising UI 1.3, which is actually changed and the theme is looking like Nothing OS 2.0. If you saw that Nothing OS, it's literally same about phone UI. Although this is having some features like Nothing OS, but not the exact hardware kind of things. We have nothing wallpapers. We have nothing fonts, which I've applied right now and as expectedly spaced on Android 13. This is latest version of Rising UI 1.3, which are the things included. We'll talk about all of those things in this video, so stay tuned. First is a new wallpaper picker UI inspired from Android 14. You can see you have the option to customize the lock screen wallpaper. You have the option to customize the home screen wallpapers, and there are many more customizations included with that. If I move on to the wallpapers and styles options, you can see if I move on to the more wallpapers, you will be able to notice we have nothing 2.0 wallpapers included. And these wallpapers are offline, which means these are included. You do not have to use internet connection to apply one of these wallpapers. All of these wallpapers are available offline if you want to use them. Secondly, if you move on to the lock screen options, you can see now we have the lock screen weather available. You can see the weather directly from your lock screen. You have to enable this option from settings, by the way. This also supports multi-user. So whenever you unlock your device, you have the option to switch between multiple guests. I mean, multiple users if you have enabled on your device. In my case, I'm the only one I'm using. But if you have enabled the multiple users option, you can switch between that very easily. Launcher also has one new thing included called themed icons. These were available previously too, but now at least default themed icons are included. If you move on to the themed icons options and enable the default one, then you have the option to use the same themed icons. And I guess these themed icons are inspired from Launcher. If you want to use any other themed icons pack, you can use that very easily. That option is also present here for you. Quick settings panel also have as expected the quick settings header images included, although it depends upon that which kind of quick settings panel you are using. Like in my case, I'm using the Android 11 style and that is also available as an option. If you want to use Android 13 style, a quick settings panel, you can use that too. You can customize the rows, you can customize the columns. Almost everything is what you can customize by applying all these things. Simply click on apply change and this will start working. Sometimes it will give you some issues. For example, if you use the unofficial versions, but I don't think so. Most of the times you will face that in the terms of lock screen clock options, you will be able to notice we have some iOS 16 style clock styles available too. If you want to use them, you can use that. For example, this is the one which is inspired from iOS. I'm using iPhone and in iOS 16, this kind of clock options are present. In this new update, we also have some volume panel customizations included by default previously. We have Realme UI style, Rising UI style. These two styles were present, but now we have gradient style like this one, which you can use. You can see them. You do not have to restart your system UI, etc. to enable these options. You have the option for the shaded layer style and some more options, new morph, outline, all these options are present. So if you need more customizations, Rising UI is here for all of these customization. Other options like signal icons, where you have the nothing signal icons options available. We have the nothing Wi-Fi icon. We have Volti icons, Wo Wi-Fi icons. Everything is present here for you. I don't, don't think so. By the way, Volti and Wo Wi-Fi icons are present. We have settings customizations available. If you want to use any of them, you can use that very easily. By the way, UI is already customized, already configured. Almost everything is present. We have game space, we have parallel space if you want to run the multiple instances of that particular app. Battery options now also kind of things changed here. You can see the design battery capacity, current battery capacity, charge cycles and battery temperature. This information is now at top. This custom also brings you more system haptics control. For example, you can customize the intensity of back gesture, brightness slider, scrolling haptics, quick setting style haptics and the volume slider haptics. There are many things included in the terms of customizations or features might be quite useful for you. So these are things which are available about this rising UI 1.3. The default launcher also have a lot of options for you in the terms of customization. This customer brings you a lot of customization. Some features are missing like the select text etc from the recents but that's completely fine. If you want to change launchers you can do that with the help of magic modules. So these were things I just wanted to let you know. I hope you like this. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this video. I will see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.